away they go, off and racing. Standing flat-footed there was Apadana, has missed the start badly by a good dozen lengths. First to get going in the stayers race on the outside was Elquin, is going to lead over Call the Wind in third placing is Winstos. Then came Think of Me, back down on the inside is Barbados, followed by Sublimus. Next then is uh, Princess Zoe, second to last is uh, Cocophonus, and after blueing the start badly, Apadana is still a dozen lengths away as they came down the side of the course the first time. So they're racing up well in towards the centre of the course, and it's Elquin in front by about two or three lengths, wins toss in second placing. The favourite with the baldy face is in third, that's called the wind. Two lengths away then came Think of Me, three lengths away to Barbados, two lengths away as they begin to string out is Princess Zoe. Well back in the field then is Kirkophonos, and on the inside at the rear is Abadana, who's now tacked on. Down the home straight they travel in round one. Leader is Eddie Hardouin aboard Elquin, showing the way, sets the pace by four lengths. In second placing is Wind's Toss, about probably five lengths away at least to Call the Wind in third. They were followed by Think of Me, the purple jacket, the outside the white cap of Barbados, two lengths away to Sublimus, who's in the blue jacket on the inside of the mare, Princess Zoe. And second last in the white with the red seams is Kirkophonos, racing on the outside of Abadana. It's probably a good 15 lengths, maybe further, away from the leader, which is Elquin, as they leave the straight and head towards the back of the course. So it's Elquin out in front. By about four lengths, in second placing is Wind's Toss. Eight lengths away in third placing came Call the Wind, followed by Barbados on the outside of Think of Me. About three lengths away then came Sublimus, racing on the inside of the outside horse Princess Zoe. Further back in the field then is Abadana. Becoming a little bit detached there at the reel is Cacophonus. So they head towards the back of the course. They go to the outside rail and the leader is Elquin, clear of wind's toss, no change in the order. Call the wind third, fourth on the near side rail there is Barbados, followed by Think of Me, Sublimus, then Princess Zoe. Well back in the field is Apadana and Cocophonus is becoming well and truly detached down the back they travel and so the uh, front runner here is still Elquin he still sets the pace and has been okay in these conditions by about three or four lengths in second placing is Winstos around about eight lengths away in third placing is Call the Wind the favorite in what appears to be the all-white colors they will follow them by Barbados a couple of lengths away then to the purple jacket of Think of Me the outside is the gray Princess Zoe then came Sublimus Next in the field then is Apadana, and still last of all is Cocophonus as they go to the highest point of the course and race down inside the 1200. So the leader, Elquin. Elquin is in front as they complete one circuit. In second placing is Winstos. Around about six lengths away, third, Call the Wind. Two or three lengths away, Princess Zoe staying on. Barbados was next. Then came further back to Think of Me. Sublimus was next down the side they travel and the leader is still Elquin it's Elquin by still four lengths in second placing wins toss third placing about four lengths away then came call the wind followed them by Princess Zoe she continues to progress and she is improving that quartet have broken well clear of the remaining runners. Elquin is still in front as they came towards the top of the straight. In fact, he's opened up a break of probably a good six or seven lengths. In second placing is uh, battling away there, Princess Zoe. Call the wind, plugs on, followed them by Winstos. Inside the final 300, and it's Elquin well in advance plugging on, trying to stay on. Princess Zoe, she is slowly but surely pegging back. Elquin, he's getting very tired, but he still has a four-length advantage inside the final 200. Princess Zoe, she's trying hard on the near side. She is starting to rally. Elquin is in front, inside the 100. Is the post going to be able to be picking up? Uh, uh, Princess Zoe, the outside, she moved up. She grabbed the lead. She outstayed him. And Princess Zoe went home to beat Elquin.